Well, he is a fixture in the Bakersfield Fire Department, a mentor and friend to many and a legend to most. That's right. Now, after 35 years, Captain Pat Caprioli is preparing to work his final shift. I'm not a legendary, I'm just a relic. Captain Pat Caprioli joined the Bakersfield Fire Department in 1984. I can't say I've seen everything, but I've seen most everything. His heart wasn't always set on becoming a firefighter. As a kid, I wanted to be a pro football player, <laughs> but that didn't work out. Then, one summer, he decided to join a volunteer hand crew in L.A. And that's when I knew I wanted to be a firefighter. <laughs> More than three decades later, he's the longest tenured employee in the Bakersfield Fire Department. I've been here longer than anyone else. I can span generations. I can explain why things are the way they are now because of the events that caused it to change. Perhaps one of the most unique things about Captain Caprioli is that he remained a captain. Despite having the qualifications to move up the ladder, he didn't. My mom and dad had influence on that. They, they loved what they did, and they did it their whole life. And I reached the rank that I thought I always wanted to be at. And I, I love fighting fire. I love rescues. I love going on calls. To me, that's, that's what's being a firefighter. He's fought thousands of fires, answered hundreds of thousands of calls. The biggest call on September 11th. It was surreal. I, I never knew the word surreal. I never used it. Um, but it, it looked like a movie set. It's something that could not have been real. Looking back on it all, this public servant says... It's my time to go. But it won't be easy. Once a firefighter, always a firefighter. His fellow firefighters on his mind as he prepares to say goodbye. They're brothers and sisters. You know, we count on each other. We have each other's back. It's like one big family. It's going to be very sad to lose Captain Caprioli. He was my training captain when I came on almost 27 years ago. I mean, he's, he's a mentor to everybody on this job that's gone through here. He's the consummate firefighter. Everything about him is excitement. Every day he comes to work, he's got a smile on his face. He's energetic. He loves this job. And even better than that, he's just a good man. A firefighter's firefighter who will truly be missed. He was my training captain in 1999 <laughs> and taught me and trained me very well to who I am today. His personality and his enthusiasm for the job. and Never a frown on his face, never said a bad word about anybody. If you're having a bad day, he's going to be there to, to cheer you up. And well, If I can show up 30 years on to be as enthusiastic about my job as he is, then uh, I'll be doing something good. His parting advice. Love the job. If you don't love the job, leave. You're not welcome. Uh, have enthusiasm for the job. I know it, there's, there's going to be bad times, good times, but uh, it's, it is literally the best job in the world. I, I, if I had to do it again, I, I would. Captain Caprioli admits he's an emotional guy. The saying around here, when I retire, I, I'm going to create two pools. One is how soon I cry, and the other pool is it's going to be how often. Well, if you're in on one of those polls, I asked Captain Caprioli how his firefighter family might fare without him. <laughs> this is what he said. You got me. <laughs> They're going to be fine without me. Bakersfield City is an awesome place to live. Um, it's a great place to raise a family, and I had the, the blessed to have it all. And I, I leave with my heart full. Captain Caprioli will work his last shift on December 28th and his children found out that I was doing this story on him and actually his daughter Jennifer sent me an email and a letter she wanted me to read it. We don't have time to read it all but I want to touch on a few things she said. She said to say he is my hero is an understatement. Daddy there are so many lessons you taught us. Most importantly you will never work a day in your life if you love what you do. And she also says that we talked about bravery over the years and I will never forget you telling me that bravery is not the absence of fear. It is doing what you have to do to Despite the fear, you're the definition of brave, the definition of a hero.